as Lisa presented Damien with a beautifully wrapped box of chocolates and extended her heartfelt wishes for a Happy Valentine's Day! Damien couldn't help but feel a mixture of surprise and curiosity. With a gentle smile, he accepted the gift, but couldn't shake off the burning question in his mind. Do you know the story behind Valentine's Day? Damien inquired, his voice tinged with curiosity. Lisa's expression shifted slightly as she shook her head, admitting, Actually, I don't. Why do you ask? Settling into a comfortable spot, Damien began to unravel the rich history of Valentine's Day. Well, it's a fascinating tale. He started. Valentine's Day is believed to have originated from the story of St. Valentine, a Christian martyr from ancient Rome. During the rule of Emperor Claudius II, marriage was prohibited for young men as it was believed that unmarried soldiers were more efficient in battle. However, St. Valentine defied this decree and continued to perform marriages in secret, believing in the power of love. When his actions were discovered, he was imprisoned and eventually executed on February 14th. Lisa listened intently her eyes widening with each detail Damien shared. Wow, I had no idea. She exclaimed softly. Nodding, Damien continued. Indeed, despite its somber beginnings, Valentine's Day has transformed into a celebration of love and affection. It's a day where people express their feelings for one another through thoughtful gestures and acts of kindness. As Damien concluded his historical narrative, Lisa's appreciation for the significance of the day deepened. Thank you for sharing that with me, Damien, she said warmly. I'm grateful to learn about the origins of Valentine's Day. Moved by Lisa's genuine curiosity and the effort she had made to bring joy into his day, Damien expressed his gratitude. Thank you for the chocolates and for being thoughtful, Lisa. He said sincerely. Happy Valentine's Day. Lisa beamed, her heart warmed by Damien's words. I'm glad I could bring a smile to your face. She replied softly. And now, I'll always remember the story behind Valentine's Day. The origins of Saint Valentine are somewhat shrouded in mystery and legend with multiple accounts and variations of his story. The most widely accepted narrative is that St. Valentine was a Christian priest who lived during the third century AD in Rome. According to tradition, Valentine served as a priest during the reign of Emperor Claudius II. Claudius II had enacted a decree forbidding young men from marrying, believing that single men made better soldiers. However, Valentine defied this decree and continued to perform Christian marriages for young couples in secret. Valentine's actions were discovered, and he was arrested and brought before Claudius too. While in prison, Valentine reportedly healed the blind daughter of his jailer, Asterius. This act of healing, along with Valentine's steadfast commitment to his Christian faith, led to the conversion of Asterius and his entire household to Christianity. Despite his efforts to convert Claudius II to Christianity, Valentine was sentenced to death. Some accounts suggest that he was beaten with clubs and then beheaded on February 14th, around the year to 70 AD. Another popular legend associated with Saint Valentine is the story of a letter he sent to a young girl possibly the daughter of his jailer, signing it. From your Valentine. This tradition is believed to have contributed to the modern practice of exchanging Valentine's Day cards. While the historical details of St. Valentine's life are unclear, his martyrdom and association with acts of love and compassion 
have made him a symbol of romance and devotion. The Roman Catholic Church recognizes Valentine as a saint, and his feast day is celebrated on February 14th. Despite the uncertainties surrounding his life, St. Valentine's legacy continues to inspire acts of love and kindness around the world. The Roman era during the 3rd century AD, particularly under Emperor Claudius II, was marked by a range of challenges and events that shaped the historical context in which St. Valentine lived. Here's a closer look at the Roman era and the reign of Emperor Claudius II. Claudius II, also known as Claudius Gothicus, came to power in the midst of the crisis of the third century, a period of political instability and military strife in the Roman Empire. His reign followed the brief rule of Emperor Gallienus, who faced numerous external threats from various barbarian tribes and internal challenges, including rival claimants to the throne. Claudius II, was known for his military prowess and is often remembered for his victories against invading Gothic and Alemanni tribes. He earned the title Gothicus after defeating the Goths. The third century was characterized by frequent invasions and conflicts on the Roman frontiers. Claudius too faced significant military challenges and his reign was marked by efforts to stabilize the empire's borders. The Gothic War to 69 to 70 AD was one of the major military campaigns during Claudius I's rule, and his success in repelling Gothic invaders contributed to his popularity among the military. The Roman Empire during this time was grappling with economic difficulties, including inflation, devaluation of currency, and economic decline. These challenges were exacerbated by the costs of maintaining a large military. One of the most famous aspects associated with Claudius II in the context of St. Valentine's story is the emperor's decree against marriages. It is said that Claudius II believed that single men made better soldiers, and to strengthen his military, he prohibited young men from marrying. During the third century, Christians faced intermittent persecution in the Roman Empire. The reasons for persecution varied, including the refusal of Christians to worship the Roman gods and the perception that they posed a threat to the traditional Roman religious and social order. Saint Valentine's defiance of Claudius Tuso decree, his commitment to performing Christian marriages, and his subsequent martyrdom exemplified the challenges faced by individuals who resisted the policies of the Roman government during this tumultuous period. The historical details of Claudius II's decree and its specific impact on Valentine's actions are, however, based on legends and may have been embellished over time. Valentine's defiance refers to his courageous acts of resistance against the decree imposed by Emperor Claudius II during the 3rd century AD. According to tradition and legend, Claudius II believed that single men made better soldiers than those who were married. To strengthen his army, he prohibited young men from marrying. However, St. Valentine, a Christian priest in Rome, defied this decree out of compassion and conviction. Despite the risks involved, Valentine continued to perform Christian marriages for young couples in secret. He believed in the sanctity of love and marriage and was committed to upholding these beliefs despite the oppressive laws of the time. Valentine's defiance was a bold and daring act of disobedience against the authority of the Roman Empire. By conducting secret marriages, he demonstrated his commitment to love, compassion, and the values of Christianity, even in the face of persecution and potential punishment. Valentine's acts of defiance ultimately led to his arrest and eventual martyrdom. However, his courage and commitment to love have inspired countless individuals throughout history, making him a symbol of romance, devotion, and resistance against unjust laws. His legacy continues to be celebrated today through the observance of Valentine's Day, a holiday dedicated to love and affection. 
The arrest and imprisonment of St. Valentine are pivotal events in his life story, highlighting his unwavering commitment to his beliefs despite the risks involved. According to tradition and legend, Valentine's actions of defying Emperor Claudius I's decree by performing secret marriages eventually led to his capture by Roman authorities. Valentine's arrest marked the beginning of a period of imprisonment and confinement. While the specifics of his imprisonment vary in different accounts, it is generally believed that he was held in a Roman prison awaiting trial and sentencing. Despite being incarcerated, Valentine remained steadfast in his faith and continued to minister to fellow prisoners and share the message of Christianity. One of the most famous legends associated with Valentine's time in prison is the healing of the blind daughter of his jailer, Asterius. It is said that Valentine's prayers and faith miraculously restored the girl's sight, leading to the conversion of Asterius and his entire household to Christianity. Valentine's time in prison was characterized by acts of kindness, compassion, and unwavering devotion to his beliefs. His imprisonment symbolizes the persecution faced by early Christians in the Roman Empire and underscores the courage and resilience of individuals like Valentine who remained faithful in the face of adversity. The details of Valentine's imprisonment, including the conditions of his confinement and the duration of his stay in prison, are not extensively documented and may have been embellished over time through legend and folklore. However, the story of Valentine's arrest and imprisonment remains a central part of his narrative and contributes to his legacy as a symbol of love, faith, and martyrdom. The legend of the letter attributed to St. Valentine is a popular and enduring aspect of his story, adding a romantic and sentimental element to his martyrdom. According to tradition, while St. Valentine was imprisoned awaiting his fate, he developed a friendship with the daughter of his jailer, who was blind. Moved by compassion and a desire to uplift her spirits, Valentine allegedly wrote a letter to the young girl, expressing his affection and signing it. From your Valentine, some versions of the legend suggest that this gesture was intended to comfort her during her illness or to convey his gratitude for her kindness and support during his time in captivity. The legend further claims that Valentine's letter miraculously cured the girl's blindness, leading to her conversion to Christianity along with her family. This act of healing and the subsequent conversion are portrayed as evidence of Valentine's piety and the divine favor bestowed upon him. Over time, the phrase from your Valentine became associated with expressions of affection and endearment, and it evolved into a common inscription in Valentine's Day greetings and cards. The legend of the letter contributed to the romantic symbolism associated with St. Valentine and his feast day, which is celebrated on February 14th. While the historical accuracy of the legend of the letter is uncertain, it has become an integral part of Valentine's narrative and is cherished as a symbol of love, compassion, and the enduring power of affectionate gestures even in the face of adversity. The martyrdom and subsequent canonization of St. Valentine are significant events in his story, solidifying his status as a revered saint in Christian tradition. Here's an overview of these key moments. St. Valentine's martyrdom is traditionally associated with his defiance of Emperor Claudius II's decree against marriages and his steadfast commitment to his Christian faith, according to legend. Valentine was arrested, tried, and sentenced to death for continuing to perform Christian marriages in defiance of the imperial decree. On February 14th, around the year 270 AD, Valentine was reportedly executed possibly by beheading or by another method, such as stoning or clubbing. His martyrdom symbolizes his unwavering dedication to his beliefs and his willingness to sacrifice his life rather than renounce his faith. The process of canonization, by which individuals are officially recognized as saints by the Roman Catholic Church, 
typically involves a thorough investigation into the candidate's life, virtues, and the presence of miracles attributed to their intercession. St. Valentine's canonization likely occurred in the centuries following his death. Although historical records of this process may be limited, the exact details of Valentine's canonization, including the date and specific papal decree, may not be well documented due to the passage of time and the historical context of early Christian martyrdom. Despite the lack of precise historical records, Valentine's veneration as a saint grew over time, and he became widely recognized as the patron saint of love, happy marriages, and beekeepers, among other things. His feast day, initially established to honor his martyrdom, evolved into the modern celebration of Valentine's Day, which is observed on February 14th and is associated with expressions of love and affection. In summary, St. Valentine's martyrdom and subsequent canonization are foundational elements of his story, emphasizing his courageous witness to his faith and his enduring legacy as a symbol of love and devotion in Christian tradition. The evolution of Valentine's Day spans centuries and encompasses a rich tapestry of historical, cultural, and religious influences. From its ancient origins to its modern-day celebration as a global holiday of love and affection, Valentine's Day has undergone numerous transformations. Here's an overview of its evolution. The origins of Valentine's Day can be traced back to ancient Roman festivals, particularly Lupercalia, which was celebrated from February 13th to 15th. Lupercalia was a fertility festival dedicated to Faunus, the Roman god of agriculture, as well as the founders of Rome, Romulus and Remus. The Christianization of Lupercalia occurred during the early centuries of Christianity. In the 5th century AD, Pope Gelasius I replaced Lupercalia with a Christian feast day commemorating the martyrdom of Saint Valentine. Saint Valentine a Christian priest martyred in the 3rd century AD, became associated with love and affection due to legends surrounding his actions, particularly his defiance of Emperor Claudius II's decree against marriages. In 1969, as part of the liturgical reforms following the Second Vatican Council, the feast day of Saint Valentine was removed from the general Roman calendar, which is the liturgical calendar used by the Roman Catholic Church for the celebration of saints' feast days and other liturgical events. This removal was part of a broader revision of the calendar that aimed to streamline and update the liturgical celebrations, often removing lesser-known saints or those with uncertain historical backgrounds. Saint Valentine's feast day was one of those casualties, though the saint is still venerated in various other Christian traditions and is widely celebrated as a day of romantic love and affection in popular culture. During the Middle Ages, particularly in England and France, Valentine's Day became associated with romantic love and courtly expressions of affection. Geoffrey Chaucer's writings in the 14th century, such as Parliament of Fowls, contributed to the association of Valentine's Day with romantic love and the mating season of birds. By the 18th century, exchanging handwritten notes and tokens of affection on Valentine's Day became a widespread custom in England and other parts of Europe. The production of mass-produced Valentine's Day cards began in the 19th century, further popularizing the holiday and making it more accessible to people of all social classes. In the 19th and 20th centuries, Valentine's Day became increasingly commercialized with the mass production of cards, chocolates, flowers, and other gifts. Today, Valentine's Day is celebrated in various countries around the world on February 14th, with traditions including the exchange of cards, flowers, chocolates, romantic dinners, and other gestures of love and affection. Overall, the evolution of Valentine's Day reflects a blend of ancient traditions, Christian influences, literary contributions, 
commercialization, and modern customs, resulting in a holiday that continues to be celebrated as a day of love and romance worldwide.